lovely people, welcome to my tutorial for today. I hope everyone is safe and sound and healthy. Thank you for being here. Thank you for subscribing. Today we are going to be making an overlap sleeveless peplum top. First, we are going to be cutting the back and then we are using the back to cut the two overlapping fronts. Okay. So I've cut this piece out using the bust measurement. The half length I'm working with is 16 inches. But for this back, I'll be using 16 and a half inches. The shoulder I'm working with is 14, to 2 is 7. Remember, there is no zip at the back. This is 3 inches for shoulder slope. On the shoulder, I'm coming down by 1 inch, also for shoulder slope. Arm hole is 7.5 inches. First measurement is 37 into 4 is 9 and quarter. Sewing allowance of 2 inches is just fine. Waist is 31 inches into 4 is 7.75. I'll be putting three inches, one for that, that, then two for sewing allowance. Now, because this is a sleeveless, I wouldn't want to leave the shoulder here. I want the shoulder to come in a little bit. So I'll remove half an inch. Just at the upper part. Okay? Just at the upper part. All right. The neck volume for the back two inches and neck width I'll maintain the three inches. So with this now we will cut the front, the two overlapping front piece. So for the front, I'll cut one and then use it to cut the remaining other with the help of this back bodies. So I'll just place it first of all. And remove the armhole. The shoulder. I'll just stop at the neckline. Okay. Now, at this waist area, you make sure you have half or even more than half of your waist measurement. The waist I'm working with is 31 inches. Divided into two is 15.5. So this is 15.5. And then I'll be adding seam allowance of two and a half inches. 
So I hope you get that. So now with my ruler, I'm going to make a slanting curve from this neckline at this point to this 15 and half. Okay. I hope you see the way it went. I left about one and a half inches at this lower part because I'll be add attaching rope at this point. I've made a similar tutorial to this. Now, if you don't want yours to be straight like this, you can still cave it in a little so that it doesn't appear choky. Just a little. And you'll be careful so that you don't cut more than you are supposed to cut and expose more than intended okay so it is just this simple okay so the second part i will use this to cut it I'll be using this one to cut the second part. I'll just place it this way and then cut. So these are the two front pieces. So we'll go over now to the peplum. So for the peplum, you will have to know how many inches you have that is extending across the midpoint to the other side this is what i mean how many inches that extended from the midpoint to this other side okay so in order to get that you have to place back your back bodies to get the midpoint first of all Okay, so this is the midpoint. I'll just carefully notch it. Okay. Okay, so now this is the midpoint. I hope you can clearly see the line. This is the midpoint. We want to determine at that position so on each side you measure four and a half inches that is nipple to nipple measurement i added half an inch for sewing so that by the time you say it you have eight inches in all okay so four and a half inches on this side which is here four and a half inches on the other side which is here okay now having determined it i'll have to shorten this overlap at the upper part, okay? Considering the waist measurement I'm working with, which is 31 inches. This is 31 inches here and here. You see, there's no more difference. There's no distance between where I'll be attaching the rope and the waist area. So I'll have to shorten this front piece say by one and a half inches that's the marking you have here okay and then i'll just shorten it slight slightly and stylishly okay so you see 31 now there is a difference there's a distance i hope you see it okay now the next thing will be to determine the circumference of your peplum if calculating it this way will be a problem for you 
you allow yourself by the time you join these two sides you measure what is left and use it to cut the peplum in fact i think that's what i'm going i will do to avoid plenty confusion i will have to forgo this one that we want, i wanted to talk about let's just use that one by the time i line and join these two sides together i will then measure whatever is left and use it to cut the peplum i hope it's clearer that way so i'll just quickly cut out the lining of these two and then line them properly okay so you see the way i lined it the neckline the shoulder is open i close the armhole and the side i also notched it the same thing with the front pieces i used a medium sized interlining at the neck area so that it can hold steel So the next thing I will do now is to join them at the shoulder. I will join each corresponding side. This way. Because I wouldn't want the roughness to show. So I will join it like so. I hope you see it. I will close it. I will do the same thing at the other sleeve. Okay. And this is for the rope. You make sure you cut as long as can go round the waist. Okay, so now I've joined it at the shoulder. Okay. And then as for the rope, I'm going to turn it inside out and then attach it here remember there was a provision for it when we did the cutting i hope you still remember so i'll attach it like this and then sew it so that when i turn it it's this way but i'm going to turn this inside out when i do that i will then close the lower end and insert our dart all right, so you see it, I've attached the rope at the two front overlap. I hope you see. The next thing will be to just join the two sides together using the bust measurement and the waist measurement on each side. By the time we do that, we will then measure whatever is left and use it to cut the peplum. But don't forget that on this side that has the overlap that is inwards, you have to leave about one inch okay you saw like half an inch from the lower part here and you leave like one inch and then you continue so that the rope will pass through it so you should have something like this okay when you join the two sides all right so all you need to do now is to measure this waistline the whole of it and what you get is what you use to cut the lower part okay that is the peplum mine is about 42 inches so i'm going to find the radius i'll simply divide okay 43 inches i'm going to be dividing it by 6.28 whatever i get to be my radius so my radius is 6.9 I folded my fabric already. So I'll just measure 6.9 from this point. All the way round. And then the length of my peplum is 
9 inches. I'll use 9 and half. Okay, so I'll cut off this point and this point. And then at the lower part of one of these two, I'll move in by three inches. And then connect it to this point. Remember, it is also subject to adjustment. If you check and you don't like the way it is, you can still adjust. So I'll cut the lining and the interlining and line it properly. All right, so now I've lined the peplum. And the last thing will be to just gently and neatly attach it at the waistline and that will be all. Remember there is no zip and there is no sleeve so i'll just quickly attach it and that will be all and here is the finished product okay i hope you see it as you can see it is not that difficult to do only make sure that you don't open this upper part more than you intend to open. Thank you for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in my next tutorial. Before then, take very good care of yourself. Be nice to one another. And be innovative also. Bye.